What's up everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you one trick to turn what you are reading on Safari into PDF file. For example, you come across any interesting information or news on Safari and then you want to save it. You want to keep it into PDF file so that you can print it later or you can open it with your PC. So right now, I'm going to show you how. Well, in this video as well, you don't need a PC in order to perform this trick. It's very simple. Okay, so now let's get started. Okay, so first just go to Safari and then just go to any website that you like. So let me try going to CNN. So you can choose what information you want to save. So now let me try choosing the first one. 24 hours of Trump. Okay, and then just click on the reading section or reading function so that there is no ads, no advertisement or no other ads inside that article. And then in that function as well, it's very useful and it's very great and it's very awesome which allows you to uh, increase and decrease the font size and also change the font. And also, you can change the background, either you're reading in the morning, afternoon, or night. Okay, so next is just to uh, save PDF. Yeah, right now, it's being saved. After the file is being saved, it will directly go to iBook Exhibition. This is the PDF file that I saved or converted from Safari. The thing is that you cannot turn this one or open this one with other applications besides iBook. So it's really hard to uh, take this document out. I think the previous and previous version of the iBook it allows you to uh, open any files or any documents in the iBook to open with other applications but right now it is closed that function is already taken as can be seen there, is, there are only two functions the first one is email and print so you cannot do anything beside this but let me perform another trick in order to open this file with other applications So this is the printing options so the trick is this just send yourself an email so let me try sending myself an email of this one let's see let we get the email of this this uh, this file there it is yeah here is the file so just click on the file is being downloaded and when it finished yeah just turn just open it with any application well right now I am able to open that file with the PDF expert and the reason why I love this application is I can do what iBook cannot do. Well, I can select the text and highlight. I can change the color of uh, my highlighter. Yeah, I can change any color that I like. I can change. I can rechange it if I don't like that color. In addition to highlight, I can also underline. And again, I can also change my underline color, my line color.
and also an other function is to strike out yep which means this information is not important and this function does not exist in iBook if you are opening the PDF file however these functions also available in the iBook if you open the iBook uh, files which has the extension of dot epub ipub epub i'm sorry okay that's it everybody and if you have any questions just let me know with the comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends thank you for watching